Let's solve this ODE. Y double prime plus 4Y equals sine 2T. At first, we're going to find our homogeneous solution by putting the left-hand side equal to 0. And then the particular solution we're going to determine with the undetermined coefficient method. Homogeneous solution, we're going to put Y double prime plus 4Y equals 0 write up our characteristic equation r squared plus 4 equals 0. From here we're able to find our two roots which are plus minus 2i, complex roots. Now we know that there's three scenarios whenever we're working with homogeneous solutions, right? We have two real roots that are different, we have two real roots that I repeat, and then we have the complex roots. Now when we have this scenario, this is the formula we need to follow. All we have to do is plug in our real part and our imaginary part according to the setup. And we are able to find the homogeneous solution for our ODE, which is C1 cosine 2t plus C2 sine 2t. Now it's time to find our particular solution. And, we, and we're going to use the undetermined coefficient method and this will be my guess for my particular solution all right when we use this method we have to guess what will be our solution and based on that we're gonna continue the problem so how do we guess well here it is most textbooks have a table like this or if not formulas or some way or form they will tell you that when you have polynomials exponentials or some kind of sinusoid sine cosine then these are your options from which you should guess from my guess came because we are dealing with a sinusoid so if i had only a polynomial they are telling me that this is what i should be guessing if i have polynomial and exponential then guess this one if we have polynomial exponential and sinusoid all three then this should be my guess here the third option applies we have a polynomial exponential and sinusoid the only thing is the polynomial and the exponential they are on the power of zero so they become one we just can't see it but formula considering or thinking of it how to apply the formula you still kind of have to imagine it that it's in there they just on power of zero, therefore they become one. Okay, hopefully I uh, was able to explain it okay. Now, let's continue. At this point, we need to realize that whatever we guessed right here is exactly the same thing as what we found for our homogeneous solution. This is not good. We cannot leave it this way. The rule says that whenever this looks like this, we have to add another t. So, we have this, and in order, in order to make it different looking, we will multiply with a t. If we had a t in it already, then t squared. So, whatever it is, you need to make sure that what you get here is different than yh okay we don't want to find the same thing again next we're gonna have to find the derivative and the second derivative of this because we will be going back to our original od and we have to plug everything back in okay so here it is we're gonna need the second derivative and y which is just simply the original guess that I have. Now, my original guess, first derivative of this guy, I keep pointing at this one, don't confuse it, we are working with this one now, this one is obsolete. So, derivative of this one, a and t cosine 2t is simply the product rule, right? Here's the formula, If you, in case you forgot it, cosine 2t plus a t negative sine 2t times 2. 
here you're gonna do the chain rule with the sign and these two they are exact same process for these two next clean it up make it a little bit more easier to see what you have because this was only half the fun now we have to take another derivative of these four here it is a long story okay over here at the end let me read it for you just in case you can't read it is t parentheses negative sine 2t and times 2 okay then i just simply cleaned it up a bit we have like terms i'm gonna combine them and here is what i have left now let's plug back in into our original ODE whatever we got here we're gonna plug it in to instead of y double prime then we have four plus four we had a y so this is what we plugged in instead of the y and on the right hand side sine 2t nothing changed simplify it and clean it up as much as possible then we're able to get to having only two terms on the left hand side negative 4a sine 2t plus 4b cosine 2t right hand side stays on chain sine 2t now in the next step all we're gonna do is compare whatever we got here on the left hand side to what we have on the right hand side let's see compare the like term so sine we're gonna compare it to sine so let's write it down negative 4a sine 2t equal 1 times sine 2t sine 2t cancels all we have left negative 4a equals 1 and our a is negative 1 fourth same thing let's compare the cosines on both sides we have 4b cosine 2t and here we have a cosine here too it's just its coefficient is a big fat zero okay so therefore 4b cosine 2t equals zero our b is zero now that we found a and b we can come back and plug back into our guess therefore our particular solution is negative one fourth t cosine 2t and for the final step we're gonna write up our solution for the ODE which is the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution it is c1 cosine 2t plus c2 sine 2t and minus one fourth t cosine 2t and this is our solution for the ODE thank you for watching have a good day and please like the video so other people can find it as well